Hi there, welcome to Email Logistics, and welcome to your fourth module of your Email Logistics End User Best Practices course. This module, I'm going to be walking you through how to reply and how to initiate emails from the shared mailbox. In Microsoft Outlook, you're going to want to navigate to your team folder because as golden rule number one tells us, always work from your folder, never the inbox or anybody else's folder, and you're going to select a message. To reply to a message, it's the same way that you've been replying all along in your shared mailbox is you can hit reply, reply all, you could pop open the message or you could reply directly from here. It's very important that when you do reply and if you decide to hit reply all like I'm going to here, that you notice Microsoft Outlook will insert the shared mailbox address in the to field. Unfortunately, this is something that email logistics can't control as Outlook automatically places this in the to field. You're going to want to remove that so you don't loop the reply back into the shared mailbox. If you don't have to hit reply all, you can simply hit reply and you will be fine. Once you draft up your reply, you have a few options. So you can either hit send or if you wish, you can pop this out so you can add your signature or you can add your signature directly from here. You can use any signature that you have already created in your Microsoft Outlook desktop application. So we'll use the email logistics signature here. Regards, Rick Grado, and my email logistics information. Once I've done that, I can go ahead and hit send, and that message is now replied to. If you wish to initiate a message from the shared mailbox, you will go ahead and click new email. And in the from option, you're going to hit the drop down here and select the shared mailbox. If the shared mailbox does not appear, then what you're going to want to do is hit other email address and you're going to want to enter the name of the shared mailbox. Once you do this for the first time, this will then appear in your from section, allowing you to send from the shared mailbox when you initiate emails. When you draft up your initiated message, you'll obviously choose who it's going to go to. We'll email rick at emailgistics.com and create your subject line. You can utilize any Outlook feature when sending messages from the shared mailbox. Whether you want to use the editor, immerse reader, you want to dictate, you can still use all of those even though the mailbox has been onboarded with email logistics. And you can still set your default signature to your regular signature you use for your personal account and have all other options down here. Once you initiate the message, that message can then be found in the sent items folder of the shared mailbox. Clicking on sent items will allow you to pull that message and take a look at the history of this message. For example, we can see that this message was a sent message done by Rick Grado, and I can access this message simply by clicking on it. The state of the message is going to be closed because it is a closed message. Thank you very much for joining me on this last module of your email logistics end user best practices course. If you ever have any questions or need anything from the Email Logistics team, you can always email support at emailgistics.com and we'll be more than happy to help you. You can also check out our knowledge base for great resources relating to things like automatic assignment, how to use Email Logistics, how to install the Email Logistics add-in, and more. Our training and learning center also has videos and tutorials on how to achieve all of these things from admin tutorials, defining schedules, reporting, and obviously this course that you're watching right now. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.